ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, greetings, good day, and welcome back to the psychotic world of Let's Play, The Evil Within, The Assignment. When last we left off, leaving our precious, precious kitten, Scarlet, behind. Once more, to face the horrors of the Mobius facility, again and again and again, making it past some haunted as well as puzzles, and now we are here, another door awaits. One that was revealed by the light of our trustworthy tool. I wonder, I wonder, what is waiting for us beyond, perhaps, the shade? That creature I don't wish to encounter again. Hopefully not, hopefully not. But this right here is not a location where wishes come true. Unfortunately, it is not. Nope, nope, nope. Ah, are you feeling ready, Julie? Are you feeling ready? Ah, to hell with your last name. Julie it is. In time to get a little more personal. Perhaps that is going to allow us to make it through the nightmare. Ah, darkness, eh? Darkness. My favorite. I don't approve. Ah, something over yonder. Better be careful now. Mm, definitely looks like some sort of hospital room. Mm, kind of. Ah, a part of Mobius. Perhaps a source of experimentation. Ah, where poor victims go to perish. The music definitely sounds like something important is about to take place. This room here, for example. Aha, there is another mark. Interesting. The air feels so heavy in here. Ach, probably not a good sign. The air feeling heavy. Ach, spiderwebs everywhere. And dust. Lots and lots of dust. Ah, alright. You certainly are demanding my attention. So be it then. Ah, alright. Something on top of that hidden desk or table. Interesting. I like how she is struggling whenever she has to use her flashlight in that fashion because she is trying to uh, stay in control. It is a bit overwhelming. Now this looks like another tape. The second tape of the assignment. Uh, once again perhaps left behind by Dr. Jimenez. I certainly want to learn more about your story, Darkender. Uh, why did you do it? Just why? Activating this here STEM prototype, just because you wanted to see it with your own eyes. Come on now, there must be more to it. After months of secret subterfuge and indoctrination, they brought me into their fold. This place is elaborate to say the least. Despite the modernistic visage, the research they have been doing here seems to date back to over a century ago. This place has history, and from what I can grasp, this facility is only one branch of many. Institutions, powerful families, their reach seems grand, and therefore the possibilities for me seem equally as rich. Clearly my own unique methods at Beacon have piqued their interest, and I am most grateful for the opportunity. Most of what the researchers have been working on, however, seems archaic by today's standards. They told me budget is of no concern. Results are the only thing that matter. 
Juggling duties here and at the hospital seems manageable, but Reuben, comparatively insignificant, but even at his young age, his studies are remarkable. Perhaps one day he will even assist me with my work here. Ah, Jimenez. Perhaps one day, yes indeed, perhaps one day the student will become the master. A master of evil. Oh my, oh my. And now you are dead. You are going to be dead. And Reuben is free. Delightful. But wait a second, wait a second. What exactly did he say? Right here. Apparently, uh, this place has history, yes indeed, it seems to date back to over a century ago. Are you... Uh, are you joking? Mobius has been around for that long, over a century? Bloody hell, these guys uh, are basically the Umbrella Corporation, if you will. They have got... they have got everything. Their reach seems grand, I can imagine. Uh, it probably travels across the world. Oh my god, what exactly would uh, a corporation this powerful do with the STEM system? What are they trying to achieve? And should they be allowed to achieve it? Uh, oh my, perhaps this is the reason Kitman, Julie, I mean eventually changed her mind, and thus she decided to try and murder Leslie, instead of rescuing him. Maybe, but she is not at that point yet, unfortunately. But my, oh my, oh my. So they offered him a position, and he gladly accepted, sensing the opportunity. Ah, Jimenez. You certainly... Uh oh this is not a negotiation, Dr. Jimenez. We are expected to reach a solution, hence the founding of this facility. I understand that, and I, I appreciate the time you've given me. Time has a limit, and we're approaching that point. If you've outspent your usefulness, we will need to find someone more suitable. Let's not be so hasty. I've done tests with our visual diagnosis. And there is something I must speak to you about. Please, come with me. The projector is in the next room. Ah, Jimenez, what did you do? Did you, honest to God, introduce Mobius into the STEM system? That's how it happened, eh? They brought him aboard. But ultimately, his research wasn't yielding any satisfactory results. They were about to abandon him, but then suddenly he had an idea, probably introducing them to not his own work, but that he stole from Ruvik. Ah, this guy. I can't believe uh, just how much of this he cost. Ah, Mobius was already powerful. But you, Jimenez, made them so much more dangerous. Bloody hell. Alright. I am definitely feeling hooked now. I want to learn more. Perhaps this entire episode is just going to be about learning. Yes, indeed. Ah, Ruvik. You're showing this to me on purpose, right? Yes, indeed. You're showing this to me on purpose. You want me to experience the origins of it all, to learn the truth about the people she works for. Alright, nothing else left here. Moving on. Ugh, what the hell? Isn't that another mark? Over there, I believe. Over there, over there. Careful. The projector, eh? Mm, 
nothing out of the ordinary, just lots and lots of sinks, cabinets, ach, random furniture. Oh no, oh no, oh no. He is here. He is definitely here. Ah, uh, this is not good. Not good at all. Ah, uh, bloody hell. God damn it, syringe. You're supposed to protect me. Ah, uh, well, that certainly ruined the moment. Um, ladies and gentlemen, oh my, oh my, it's happening already. Well, there you go. Um, here we have got the second type of unique collectible. Uh, it happens to be a giant snail. Now, um, you might be you might be asking why a snail? Um, because a snail happens to be the logo of the creators of the Evil Wooden and Tango GameWorks. There is your explanation. Uh, unfortunately, you might also be asking why exactly does it moan? Uh, that is a very good question indeed. Um, I am I am just going to proceed now. I'm going to um, satisfy this here snail. Uh, wait a second. Uh, that didn't come out right. Um, I am just going to flash it now, the snail. Uh, no, wait. Uh, Ah, just, just do it. Ah, at least someone's feeling happy. And there you have go. There you have go. Ah, I certainly butchered that sentence. There you go. The logo of Tango Gameworks. Which happens to be a collectible. There, item acquired. You have unlocked a new model. You can view it in the model viewer from the, the assignment and title menu. That is something we'll be doing at the end of this year project. Once everything is over, all of the models, especially the models of the enemies, they are waiting for us. But there you are. Ah, first LPs and now snails. Moaning snails. I don't believe there is anything else that needs to be added. Now, I can tell you that there is only one snail left as far as I am aware um, in the assignment, but where exactly it can be found, I don't remember. Alright, a moment of silence and getting back on track. That was Ruvik. The syringe is not working. Ugh, I mean, that was already obvious, considering the fact how many times we have gotten attacked already. But now he is breaking through as well? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it is working. Maybe all this is still better than the alternative. Ugh, I mean, what about Sebastian? Getting chased around by chainsaw-wielding maniacs, having to fight hordes upon hordes of haunted and so on and so forth, yeah. Ugh, I say this is definitely better. But Juvik is certainly making the most of it. Alright, nothing here? Nothing at all? Need to find that projector. Ugh, please leave me alone, Juvik. I don't wish to face off against you. I don't wish to. Hmm, am I being watched? Ah, what am I saying, of course. I am always being watched. Aha, and here we are. Time to learn something new, and time to learn something new and expand upon our knowledge. Uh. 
It's my hypothesis that we haven't succeeded because so far we've only been using visuals, audio stimuli, passive influence, even on my patients with limited mental capacity. This method is rejected by the user. If we are to accomplish what we intend, we will need to refocus. We need direct access. And what do you propose? It's, how shall I say, a pet project of sorts. A mechochemical process. With it, we should be able to have a direct influence on the individual. Potentially even access their subconscious. I have the data in the next room. Let me show you. That video. I remember they showed me that when I was brought here. Ah, certainly interesting, eh? They showed her that exact video. Ah, why? To brainwash her, perhaps? Ah, using... Ah, using, right. Using visual means to, perhaps, brainwash her. Influencer. Perhaps that influence is slowly but surely wearing off. Ah, and this music. Ah, always this music. A bit twisted, a bit distorted, but there you are. Alright, well, he is certainly doing it. Oh my, he is certainly doing it. That Jimenez. About to introduce Mobius into the stem. Ah, bloody hell, I can't believe it. This is happening because of Ruvik. Ah, why else would it be happening? He wants me to see this. It's definitely interesting how much he favors Julie. Never showed any of this to Sebastian, but Julie, she is allowed to take a peek beyond the curtain. Ah, that video. Ah, it kind of uh, brings back memories of the morphogenic sequence from Outlast. Aha. Ah, Outlast. Just mentioning that name. Ah, that brings back so many memories. Bloody hell. Ah, there is still a sequel out there, you know? Ah, but that's a story for another day. Ah, what happened next? Treating this as your own project. A pet project, he says. But sooner or later, he'll have to bring up Ruben. Oh my god, that is why he was brought aboard. Am I right? He showed them the stem and they wanted it, but suddenly Jimenez realized, wait a second, bloody hell, without Ruben I, I can't do anything. I just stole all of this, but I don't know how it works, how it properly works. Oh no, oh no, I need to bring him aboard, right? Yeah. And then, slowly but surely, everything spiraled out of control. Ugh, don't take away the light, please. I need the light. Ah, in there. No, wait, here it is. Hello? Ah, uh, nobody present? Just... Ah, uh, oh dear, oh dear. Just a blueprint. There it is. The stem. A6441. The stem prototype, eh? Ah, he stole it all. He built his own prototype using Ruvik's research. I think. Or maybe... Ah, maybe Ruvik built in the initial prototype, and then Jimenez stole that. One of the two. But Christ almighty. What have you done, Jimenez? Ah, 
Call of D's beds. It even looks a little like Mount Massive Asylum, doesn't it? And that is certainly it. Certainly it. Ah, it even looks like a brain on top. And this is where the actual brain goes and down below. Where Ruvik ended up. His remains, anyway. Ah. What are you trying to tell me? Showing me all this just to then try and murder me? He is just having fun, that Ruvik. Ah, I mean... Earlier I said he certainly favors Julie, but that's not entirely true. I mean, he showed certain things to Sebastian as well. Don't forget about some of uh, the flashbacks he experienced. And now what? Uh, there is a body in there. Ah, uh, careful now. Could be a haunted. Hmm. Don't you dare move a muscle. That is certainly where you put the victims. Into the tubs. Whatever they are supposed to be. Connecting them to the machine. Thus, and connecting them to the host. And then their memories. Their, their consciousnesses, their subconsciousnesses, everything gets linked. Creating a world. A world that the host is in control of. Thus, uh, allowing you to 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 access uh, their minds, but why? To to what end? I have yet to discover that. I mean, Zhuvik, he was trying to find a way to obtain a new body, I guess, this entire time. But what is the goal of Mobius? What do they need the stem for? Now, isn't this door just magically going to unlock? This research here, this is exactly what we've been looking for. I call it STEM. I'm sure you and your superiors will find this most satisfactory. You mentioned the design was from a pupil of yours. And in that case, where do you fit in? He is an unstable individual. Perhaps it is better that I continue to be the one to contact in this situation. I'd like you to bring this man in. We should all be able to have a productive conversation. What did you say his name was? Ruben. Ruben Victoriano. It's dark, it's so dreadfully dark, but I can see the door. The door, it, it opened. Now, before I ran away there, I think the creature, it said, Kidman? I am pretty sure I hear that saying Kidman. Ah, why the hell does it know my name now? Is it searching for me now? I don't approve. Where is it? Oh god, oh god. Apparently, uh, I've seen enough. I've seen too much. No, 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 no. It is back. 
Ugh, whenever I hear it's high heels, I never know where it is. Ugh, in front of me, behind me. Ugh, I don't like it. But my oh my, we have learned so much. That administrator is certainly scaring uh, everybody into submission. Crash almighty. Jimenez, he thought he had something there. He wanted to take over completely. But no. The administrator, he wanted to give Ruvik a fair chance. And then all of this happened. Ah, you failed. You, you surely screwed up, Jimenez. Ah, instead of securing your position, you just made everything so much worse. But my oh my, what he was willing to do in order to keep his power to not become expandable. I like how the administrator said, well, how do you fit into it all then? Yeah, ah, oh, menace. And he thought he could use Ruvik's mental instability as an excuse. No. Alright. That was perhaps just meant to be a scare. Uh, perhaps it didn't say my name. Perhaps it isn't there at all. I am... Uh, I am going to be safe. Going to be alright. Hello? Ah, uh, another door? Ah, uh, what is this? The darkest corridor in the world. Ah, uh, flashlight, please don't abandon me now. There is a malfunctioning door. Alright. A lone chair. Lots and lots of curtains, sheets, and blankets. Alright. I should be able to open this one up. But what about the malfunctioning door? Uh, what? Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, that was Laura. That was indeed Laura. The actual Laura. Not the spider lady, she became but Laura, in the flesh. Ah, uh, I am leaving. If that's not an issue, I am just leaving now. Ah, much better. It is much, much better in here. Ah, much, much more inviting. There is light. Ah, towards the administration. Um, I don't know if I want to meet the administrator of this world. Alright. Managed to escape? Well, now we have learned all about how it happened. How the stem fell into the hands of Mobius, and why Juvik joined them. Ah, he didn't join them on his own at all. Jimenez did not bring him on board willingly. It all happened because of Mobius. Jimenez just digging himself deeper and deeper into that hole. Ah, it's almost... It's hilarious how much there is to him how much we are learning about him, but ultimately he just gets uh, crushed alive by the Amalgam Alpha. Juvik did nothing care, didn't want to have a final conversation with him, nothing at all, just immediately flattening him. Uh, a checkpoint. 
Not yet, my precious, precious kitten, but at least that. Ah, what? I haven't been feeling well, but look, let's just get out of here. There's something wrong with this place. Sebastian? Joseph? Are they here? He just said, I don't know what came over me. I remember that moment. That moment happened during, uh, chapter 5. After Joseph attacked Sebastian for the first time. Seriously? Have we reached chapter 5 of the main game already? Ach, but it's only her first chapter. Well, ach, like I always say, perhaps time and space are warped here. Perhaps due to the syringe, uh, she spent way less time inside the stem? Maybe. Well, this is certainly interesting. That means we're about to hit the moment where she is... Uh, Going to drown, almost. Finding herself in that box. Waiting to be rescued. Hello? That's where Leslie was before. And now those two, where are they headed? Aha. I like that statement. And now those two, where are they headed? Like, she isn't showing any concern whatsoever. Because she is a professional agent. Like, at this point, she does not yet care about them. They are just expandable. Ach, <sighs> my oh my. But something changed. Something will change down the road. But when and why? Ach, <sighs> why will she end up saving Sebastian in the end? Hmm, and this is indeed where Leslie was, but how to get there? Um, we've tried this before. It's not gonna work. Hmm, careful. Perhaps uh, examine my surroundings first. Just making sure. Maybe something is going to happen upon using this here device. Ah, alright, whatever. Agent Stacks, terminated. Please contact Biometrics for reauthentication. Ah, <sighs> bloody hell. Well, what a coincidence. Biometrics is right over there. Okay, okay, okay. I need to re register myself in order to make the system recognize me. Ah, but it's not going to be that simple. <laughs> it's not going to be that simple. Oh my, oh my, I'll have to enter hell and return to tell the tale just to make it past a single goddamn door. Ah, story of my life. All right, Leslie? Alright, Sebastian, Joseph, um, I'll be, I'll be right there. But first, biometrics. What to expect, I wonder. My god, will we ever be able to leave this here facility behind? This certainly looks like some kind of exit. The one Leslie took, maybe? Ah, so close and yet so far away. I wouldn't mind another couch. Alright, going down, a nice start. Mm -mm. Ah, oh my god, did you hear that? Bloody hell. <gasps> are you real? Please tell me you are real. Ah, oh my god, you're real? Scarlet, have you... Yes, 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 I love you too, kitty. Have you been waiting for me here? Did you bring the couch? Ah, you shouldn't have. And here we have got an elevator. Going down. Into the balls. What can I say? It's what I do. Nothing else, nothing else. Ah, a short break. A short break before the... 
Ah, inevitable inferno that awaits us. Ah, come now, kitty. You deserve some scratches. Ah, and that's right. Enjoy the moment. Enjoy it. Because it won't last. Here we are. Ah, been playing the assignment for a little over, ah, well, not just a little, for mm, three hours and a little over a half. Well, I wonder, I wonder uh, if I will be able to perhaps get him close into that record, one below. I don't think I am going to beat it, because this is still chapter one, and there are two chapters in total, yes indeed, all in all, there are uh, four chapters. Uh, two in each of the DLCs, yeah. And we have yet to reach the second of this one, yeah. Ah, I don't think we are going to break that record at all, but what does it matter? Ah, look at that uh, picture over yonder. Police, Crimson City Police Department. Ah, you're certainly looking, looking like quite the troublemaker, Julie. Alright, I wonder, is Frank going to show his face again? Ah, but he needs a mob. This time he should appear with a mob or a broom. Ah, nothing. Nothing at all. Just a pet and a kitten. That's right. Ah, so wholesome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, might as well end the episode here. Because we have certainly made it through this part of the facility. Ah, unfortunately now, biometrics awaits. And what are we going to find there? Perhaps the shade? No, ah, I am I am not saying that that is definitely going to happen, but you know. Perhaps more haunted? Perhaps a new type of enemy entirely? Ah, where am I taking that idea from? Ah, it's like I played this before. Oh wait. Ah, hope that you enjoyed. Until next time, until then, my name has been The Shadow Cookie. Have a good one. Ah, we are getting there. Jimenez, there is more to learn about you, but I can only repeat myself. Ah, what you got is something you certainly deserved. As a matter of fact, you got off this ride way too easily.